Yep. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I've been saying this is going to happen. Hey, guys, FBI is now investigating um, this whole implosion, this whole collapse, this whole um, insider market manipulation, all, all the filth, foreign filth that it uh, spurred on by Binance. You know, this was a deliberate hit, you know. And I still, I'm still not 100% sold that this shit is authentic. I re- what I really think is um, that shit that went down with Elon Musk with that pump and dump, ex- it exposed major liquidity issues. And if you don't have the money to cover when people brought the dip back in May, then the, the best thing to do is to scream fire in a crowded theater, you know? And that's what they've done. You know, if you want to get the holders off their position, then you drop that shit to a point that it hits their pain threshold. And right now, all the holders, all of them, everybody is like fucking ouch, ouch. And this this loud ouch, you know, with this many people screaming has now got the attention of the feds. And so Binance thinks that, you know, they're going to pull this shit off and then ride off into the sunset. And that's not going to happen. You know, that's not going to happen. But, you know, the CEO of Binance, you know, dude might be safe. This little dude here might be safe, right? He's safe because he's white. That's it. But see, Binance, that guy, he's probably safe because he's actually the Chinese government. (laughs) I believe 100% that that motherfucker is the Chinese government. I mean, just look at the fall. Look at the impact. Look at look at what this shit is doing to the U.S. economy. Just at a point when the U.S. dollar was stronger than everybody else. Look what happens. Right. This, now you're starting to see this shit bleed into the markets right now. Dow Jones down, S&P down, Nasdaq down. Every fucking thing is down. And they want to act like these two are completely, completely detached from each other. Like one doesn't affect the other. That's bullshit. There's a direct correlation in between Bitcoin and the New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar. So as Bitcoin goes, that shit affects here and there in European markets and American markets everywhere. Binance did this shit. These little fuckers at Binance did this shit. This was payback for the what, what FTX did for Luna. Don't feel sorry for him. Do not feel sorry for this motherfucker. That's payback for what he did Luna. He crashed Luna. Right? And when he crashed Luna, fucking Asians stick together. You know, they crashed this shit. You know? And you know, and, and that's why this shit reeks of Chinese government, because Chinese government doesn't like someone to get too big. And this motherfucker here was too big. You know, one article I read last week called him the white knight of cryptocurrency. <laughs> in less than forty eight hours. Less than forty eight hours, he's not even a mil he's not even a billionaire anymore. You know, FTT, the utility token for FTX collapsed by more than seventy percent. Not that we could benefit from it, because if you got in on that shit, then them bots just, you know, went a thousand points in the other direction until you it hit your stop loss, or you just said, fuck it, let me get out of this. And then it continued down. Don't think a lot of people made money off that short because they didn't. They still not. That's why the Binance CEO was on the news this morning talking about, hey, the, hey, hey, everybody, don't um don't don't trade that FTT coin because you know, we manipulating the fuck out of it. <laughs> we manipulated the fuck out of it but this shit is a fire fest you know this is a fire fest this is a crypto fire fest and i you know it, it'll probably crypto will probably survive this right but in what form will it emerge what how will bitcoin look on the other side of this because institutional money they're not going to invest in this would you would you, if you're the head, if you're the leader or representative of the, of the fucking mafia boss of uh, the New York police union, are you putting any money in this Bitcoin shit? Fuck no. Not when we have people stranded. Because, see, this is the other side of this FTX thing. FTX had a lot of criminal shit going on, but the motherfuckers never played with your money. If you needed to get your money from FTX, I, y'all know I have never got on here and said FTX played with my money. I've said a lot of shit, but I've never said I could not get my money from them. In fact, I have said 
That's the only reason to hold on to them. Whereas Binance would hold your shit, will keep it or force you to only withdraw in certain coins as to make sure they keep even more of it with they slimy ass. FTX never did that. They'll let you trade into that shit with TRX, leave out with Bitcoin, send Bitcoin to your cash app. That pathway is gone. So what now what has happened is you have people stranded on crypto islands, unable to move their fucking money anywhere. Because why? Everybody is, is halting withdrawals. Everybody. Guys, there's so many exchanges caught up in this shit. Don't forget that FTX was propping up several of these protocols that had collapsed. You know? So... When Binance pulls this, what we call in the lower night world of New Orleans, a whole move. When they pull this whole move that they pull, they did it deliberately to fuck over everybody. And that's why I think that little dude at Binance, man, he may want to sit low. Yeah, you you have gotten away with a lot of money in this money heist, but your ass ain't going to be able to, to enjoy it. <laughs> run, little Asian boy, run. Because... A lot of people got fucked over by Binance and they're never going to forget it and they're never going to trust Binance, you know, and if you have money in Binance, you may want to, hey, this may be an opportunity. You may want to convert your shit out of that and get it, get it the fuck away from them. If not, you know, you're on your own. You're on your own because this was a fucking fire fest. This whole crypto thing was a fire fest. And it looks like it's over. It looks it really looks like it's over. Yes, I think it's going to bounce back. But in a in a Silk Road, slimy, dark alley kind of way. And if you like that kind of thing, then, you know, you won't notice the difference. But for those of us that were were really trying to do this shit and, and make a come up from it, it's, it's just, you know, this is a very crypto is a very dangerous place right now. At one point, when you did have that FTX, you had a safe place to do a dangerous thing. Now there is no safe place to do a dangerous thing. There's just motherfuckers waiting to rape you. And unless you like being raped in the ass, you know, that ain't cool. It's your boy, TJ. Stay safe. Don't get raped in the ass. Bye, Binance.